This one is what do you think if what? Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, guys. Thank you for your time. <laughs> That's <sounds> fancy. <cool. laughs> Gun. Okay. Yes, for sure. I hear your voice. Oh, that's great, yeah. man. Good. Ciao, bro. How are you? I'm fine. And you, man? How it's going? Not bad. It's a little bit cold and it's raining all day. Almost yeah, all. Yeah, it's the same here, man. It's the <laughs> same here. <laughs> raining, cold. The seat no in Rene. Does it die? No, no, no. Not at the oh. moment. Not here in Florence. Uh, oh. We do have snow in the north of Italy, but no, not here yet. Oh, okay. Probably uh, here it's normal snow in February or March, like this, more or less. What about Taiwan? Do you have snow right now? No, actually, in my life, I never seen a snow. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> so you should come here in winter time. For sure, if I earn some money first, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> always the problem is that's the, the main thing. <laughs> yeah, always. So, yeah. what's the time right there? It's half past nine. Now here is half past four p.m. Oh, <laughs> late. It's, it's afternoon time. So you just arrive where you work. The show. No, no, no. It's I arrive here like. One hour ago. Oh, okay. Just the we start. You have to introduce this there again because last time I have some problem with the uh, room. Okay, no worries. <laughs> so okay, my name is Luca. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm 31 years old, and I'm Italian. I'm living actually in Florence, and I met Logan in Australia. And as right now I'm working in furniture and I have a furniture company. We are doing wholesaling here in Italy and Europe. And this year we start business with the uh, US as well. So we are happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a few questions. I changed the question because last time we have similar questions together. So... Now we have, let me check, 11 questions I already sent to you. The first one, do you know anything about Taiwan? Where did you got the information about Taiwan? Yeah, for sure. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> and Joy as well. She was from Taiwan, no? Yes, Joy is also from Taiwan. She still stay in Australia. In Australia, I know, I know. That's great for her. Yeah, I know about Thailand, that Taiwan is the island, and some things about the history of Thailand, the relationship with China. Tha Taiwan is really famous as well for uh, national parks, and, I don't know, for um, informatic things, because I know you are the first product producer of chip in the world. Yeah, you're really famous. You make the chip for PlayStation, for <laughs> phone, and for cars, for everything. Do you know the membership? Yeah, I know. Uh, this one really is famous. yeah, this one is a top one in the world. I know. Yeah, yeah. when you stopped to make membership, we we couldn't buy PlayStation. It was yeah. your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's China and America, not Taiwan's fault. No, 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 no. It's China. <laughs> it's Taiwan's fault. <laughs> <laughs> now we also building a battery in America. I think it's also in Japan. I'm not quite sure, but. America is different because the American government, they asked Taiwan have to build a factory right there. Okay. <laughs> Probably to learn. The second one, do you want to come to Taiwan and why? Yeah, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Yeah, I really would like to come in Taiwan. Uh, first thing, probably to travel around because I know you have a really amazing natural national park or natural beauties and also because I would like to try the food the Taiwanese food yeah. um, 
many times you cooked for me in Australia and it was amazing, man. Yes. The, how do you call the hot pot? Yeah, hot yeah. pot. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. For me, I just love it. Really, I just love it. Um, chicken with Coca-Cola, chicken with... Uh, um, soy sauce. Soy sauce, probably, yeah. yeah. No, no, many, many things, really. So, yeah, I really would like to come in Taiwan. But, you know, Taiwan have some very special food, like uh, sneaking tofu. Or, uh, okay, I didn't know that, but I will try for sure. Chicken ass. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm writing. Eh? <laughs> I'm taking notes about that. <laughs> so you would like to try a chicken ass? Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Is it because... spicy? Oh, you can choose spicy or not. I like spicy, but your spicy sometimes is too much spicy. Even for me, that I really lo love spicy. Just uh, a little bit spicy, not so spicy. Yeah, your little. I don't believe yeah. you. Your little <laughs> bit, not my little bit. <laughs> Are you yeah you try the soup when i was in florence oh, oh. <laughs> i i can say something to your followers i remember the first time that i i tried uh wasabi yeah it was with you <laughs> you are really a bad guy because you didn't tell me what it was and they took a really big piece of wasabi <laughs> and you were, let me assure you you could try it it's really it's delicious <laughs> I, I remember i was kind of I don't know between coughing and vomiting at the same time because it was strong the taste the taste of wasabi and that was your fault. The wasabi is from Japan, not from Taiwan. Yeah, I know, but no, I don't. I don't mean that yeah, it's from I know. Taiwan. I mean that you like no, no. It does. It it tastes. It's not too strong, or no, it's not too spicy. And always is really spicy, or the taste is really strong. You know, oh, man, yeah. sometimes you have to pay bet. Do you remember <laughs> uh, for Ilan Bafangkulo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember that? Okay. Yeah, for sure. My first Italian war is this one. First... <laughs> Gun. Uh, yeah, correct. Just stop the pay war. <laughs> okay. I think that it's much better. good for my YouTube channel. And you will beat that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the first thing three. Yeah, do you know the relationship between Taiwan and China? What do you think about it? Yeah, something I know from the TV or because we studied about the relationship between Taiwan and China that it's it's a really long time that there is a kind of relationship between you. What I think, I think just that U.S. and China, they should to do their stuff and leave Taiwan by itself. <laughs> Perfect. Know? That's why I think. Just Everybody leave me alone. Leave I don't want to go to any side. I just want to be a me, you know, be a Taiwan country. Be Taiwanese. Just that, yeah, just be know. Taiwanese. Yeah, like, yeah, just that. Uh, it's a little bit strange. The Italian uh, school teach lots of countries' history or just some countries? No, we teach a lot of country history. Um, Italian school is kind of heavy school. It's not good for languages, as you can hear uh, my yeah. English. <laughs> yes, for sure. But, but anyway, uh, like history or a lot of others. Uh, maths are really heavy. I don't know how to say, but yeah, we study a lot history and everything. American, Asian, African. This which level school? How yeah, old we, are you when you at the time? No, we start at, uh, to study history at six years, and until you will end the school, you will keep studying st story until nineteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's be a long time. As in Taiwan, we don't actually learn many countries' history. We always okay. focus on Taiwan, China, maybe yeah. America. Yeah. But China's mm. history is most. If some countries have a relationship with China in the history, then we will teach it. Otherwise, we no, will we, not teach no. anymore like this. 
Okay, now we study from America, like Adzehi and all of that stuff, from to like Mongolia with Genghis Khan, to China and Russia, everything we study. Hmm. That's lots of countries. Oh. Yeah, lots of stuff to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> you must be learning hard. So let's go to the question four. What was your English staple before you go to Australia and how do you improve your English? <laughs> if you remember when I arrived in Australia, I didn't speak English. Ah, yes. Yeah, it was. It wasn't a fault from my teacher. It was <laughs> my fault. They were good teachers. I had really good teachers. I remember one. Andrea Pellizzari, his name, he was a really good teacher. Just, oh, Bijarini, and I don't know. But it was my fault because I don't know. It was really hard to me to learn English. <laughs> you know why I have to, um, the Taiwanese always thinking if you lose like uh, European or American or whatever, just like Western countries people, you must be have very good English. But after when I arrived in Australia, I think that's that's wrong. You Not met me. What? <laughs> yes. <I'm, laughs> that's why I know I start to know not everyone that speak English very well <laughs> because English is not their country's first language. So no, 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 everyone no. is the same. Have to no, but, very play English. <laughs> yeah, but if you think here in Europe, uh, like there are countries like Italy or French or Spain that have a really uh, strong culture and yes. we don't use it. We don't speak in English at home or like this. Like the difference is like in Germany. In Germany, they watch TV in English. Sometimes they speak in English with the parents. Uh, I was living with some German German guys in Australia, and they told me that for them it was normal to watch a movie in TV in in TV in in English. In Italy, no, that doesn't exist this thing. We just watch in Italian. <laughs> just Italian. <laughs> I will ask kids because after you guys leave. I mean, a couple moved to Saint's house. It's from German. And one friend is called Kate. Her name is Kate. And now she's in Thailand. Maybe next time I will check with her. I will ask her, is it true or not? Yeah. And you will let me know. For sure. Let me see. <clears throat> what do you choose to go to Australia for your working holiday? I don't know. It was, I was just getting boring about my life, probably. In Italy, I wanted to do something different, and I just finished the school, start work after I was working in a pub as a bartender, and I don't know. I just wanted to change my life and do a new friends, new experience, everything, you know, learn English a little bit. <laughs> but there are many countries you can go. Why you choice Australia? Canada, I don't know, because USA? It's, it's far away. And okay. also because I always wanted to travel and it was close to New Zealand. I always wanted to go to New Zealand in my mind. Uh, I never been there. <laughs> yes, I remember <laughs> after you travel Australia, then you go to another side, new side, not go to the New Zealand. Yeah, I spent a lot uh, of time in Asia actually because I love Asia, like all the country around. I'm missing Taiwan. And yeah, Japan. you miss Taiwan. <laughs> I will do one. Taiwan, Korea, and Japan. But uh, anyway, why you choose Australia? I don't know. Probably just because it's far away. I wanted <laughs> to... Just yeah. want to go far away from Italy. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I even didn't think about that. I remember I went to the <clears throat> it's, uh, Asian travel and just say, okay, I would like to buy a ticket from to where? <laughs> to Australia. <laughs> I was like, okay, I say, okay, next month you have to fly. Okay, that's great. I come back at home, I say to my parents, oh, look, uh, next go month I will go. Oh, but you just come back now from uh, from Thailand for a minute. Yeah, I know, but I bought a ticket for Australia. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> just like this. Crazy. Just enjoy your life. I would like to know why you... 
went to Australia and now yes. like New Zealand or the country, Singapore. Yes, but because I think it's similar. I just want to go out, leave Taiwan, see what does the war goes on, other country people, how was their life. And Australia is the most easy for a working holiday. Actually, because you are European, so that's easy to get any visa for working holiday. But Taiwan is not like that easy. And you know, Taiwan has very low salary. And Australia is not so expensive for that. The visa fees is not so expensive. And lots of countries people go to Australia. That's why I can meet lots of countries people. Including okay. it's probably more than 20 countries people I met in Australia. That's my reason. Yeah, yeah you're right. Let's go to the next one. How does COVID-19 change your life? In a bad way? Yeah. <laughs> like anyway, for everybody. You want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it changed our life and think it will be here present for a long time. In Italy, Italians are like laughing people. We used to be really warm, really, you know, when we met a friend, we kiss, we touch and like this. Oh, yeah. With COVID, we learned the distance. We are more distant between us and do you know it changed even our culture i think here really? in italy i th- I, i'm feeling the same in spain or like in argentina as well they are laughing so it changed a lot change for the business change the life because i lost some person that i knew no. like friends or Sorry. yeah my girlfriend family some of them because of the hobbies so it changed in a lot in many ways from the culture to the healthy a lot of things but anyway i think it's the same all around the world it's yeah it's the same all around the world yeah so we could does, he go back? does he go back to normal life right now we are close to the normal life right now we don't wear masks anymore just in the hospital but there are many things that still really really heavy like a friend of my uh, wife was having a baby uh, like a few days ago and we couldn't enter in the hospital it's it's nothing i know but we we would like to stay with them like hug my friend you know Um, i'm happy for you but we have to stay outside like two days ago my grandma just fell down and she broke her head and she went to the hospital last night and we couldn't go inside the hospital and stay with her. Even oh. we cannot wait inside the hospital right now. We have to wait outside and it's cold, it's wet, it's raining. So we, we had to leave her by herself. She's 82 years old and in the hospital because it, it changed, you know, are, are small things, but it is changing our lives. I think I'm I'm pretty sorry for your grandmother. I hope yeah, you just fine just now. told me you will go to the hospital. Yeah, afternoon? yeah. Today we go to her house. So we'll hug her <laughs> That's and see how good. she's feeling. I hope so. Yeah. It changed a lot. And Next time you will come in to Italy, you will meet my grandmother because last time we sure. didn't have time. We will go to my grandmother's house. It's like, Where she live? Yeah, like forty-five minutes far from a house. Oh, in Australia, it's, not so it's nothing. In Italy, yeah. it's really far away. <laughs> uh, that's you never come to Taiwan easy. for for we Taiwanese. <laughs> for Taiwanese, it's the same. If we leave house for half hours, it's far away. Yeah, <laughs> in Australia, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's piece of cake. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one about a salary. How's your income? How long will it take you to earn uh, enough money to buy a house in your country? <laughs> yeah, it depends. Just yes, I... be a normal, you know, every country yeah. they have uh, income. Yeah, uh, the average. The average yeah, salary. The average I, I hear income. the average salary here or the minimum, I don't know. We don't have a minimum salary, but yeah, the I think for a normal person, it's around 1,200 euros. For months, uh, we have 13 salary. Oh, someone has 13, someone else has 15. Depends on oh, yeah. the type of job. 
But yeah, anyway, yeah, I think it's 1,200. Two person that are living together with that kind of salary. Yeah, probably they need to ask uh, money from the bank to buy a house yeah, and they will sure. pay it back probably in 20 or 30 years. Anyway, nice. think about a small house. Yeah. And not in the center of the city, you know, outside yeah. of the city. Yeah. Something like Out that. Out of the city. Yes, it's similar with Taiwan, but in Taiwan, normally people will choose 30 or 40. Yes, it's more expensive, I think. Yeah, for here we have that, but you have to pay it more. I yes, think, but so I don't. Yeah, I, we have to pay more. Just let me check how much the trans transfer if it's one thousand two hundred euros, thirty two point seventy seven, and one thousand two hundred. So, yeah, it's like Taiwanese dollar for eight hour job, yes. five days per week. Yeah, but you know, I want the normal salary normally is 30,000. And uh, if it's. Yeah, but that's kind of low sal salary. Yeah? That's kind of minimum. This one is Euro. 900. Ah, Euro. Euro. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. And you, it's almost 300 less. Okay, just go to the next one because I think, yeah, it's. For, for Taiwanese, it's more hard to buy a house than Italian. But Italian is also hard to buy a house, but it's much easier than Taiwan. I think so. So how has the Russia and Ukraine war changed your life? You know, that's the point I got from you. Because normally in Taiwan's news, the huge change is because COVID-19. But last time you told me the huge change is for the war to the European. Yeah, right. Right now, I think so. Because here, the price of the energy is rising a lot. But really, you can imagine like... Every month, it's it was uh, rising the hundred percent. Like before, you will spend one hundred euro in one month. The next month, two hundred. The next month, not four hundred, but probably three hundred, something like this. So it's really heavy. Think about the the week that started the war. The fuel from I don't know one euro and sixty for a liter. It was rising to two euro point two. So think about the transport and everything. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's really. crazy. I hope the yeah. war will be end next year. I think. Yeah, I hope so. Too, too. For the business, for everything, and but for things for the people that are fighting right now because it's always the poor people that are dying. <laughs> yes, always. Never, yeah, think about there are family like in the cold because in Ukraine right now it's really yeah. cold they don't yes. have energy as well and everything under the bomb and everything i hope the war will end for yeah. them for us for everything first thing yeah. for them because they don't they don't need this stuff <laughs> yes they don't need they just fuck out <laughs> yeah it's putin <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny question it's from some of my friends they are taiwanese I mm. just told them I will check with you and what kind of question they will ask to Italian. And this one is, what do you think if pizza with pineapple? What? Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, guys. Thank you for your time. <laughs> That's <sounds> cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's not pizza. That's it's American pizza. Oh, <laughs> Do you know? That's not yeah. Italian pizza. Yeah. No way. No. We don't put bloody pineapple on pizza. Really, that's no, there. Are, there is no way to do that. It's, you cannot cool pizza. That's the cake. I don't know. A bread. A bread, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> kind of bread. Hey, what do you think about hot pot with pineapple and milk? I don't know, <laughs> something. Uh, actually, some people. Oh, ate come <laughs> on! <laughs> really, some people were at that in hot pot. Normally, in the hot pot, they can add anything they want. Okay, what do you think about hot pot with hair? And oh no milk? way! <laughs> okay, I know, I know you. 
<laughs> okay, go to the next one. What do you think? Uh, when you are speaking without body language, okay, like this. It's, yes, it's impossible. <laughs> I cannot go without body language. I'm Italian. Ah, oh, yes. Speak like this, do you know. We use <laughs> our hands. We always do talking with our hands, do you know. Yes, yes. I, I can speak without my voice, just with the hands, <laughs> but I cannot speak. Just with my voice, <laughs> without my hands. It's that the way. <laughs> I think because you, I too close to you. That's why, you know, after Australia, when I speak, I will just do the things like you. <laughs> yes, I don't know why my hand just move by itself. I even I just don't want them move. They just move by themselves like this. I... <laughs> Because now it's you have, you're feeling the Italian blood. You it's your fault. Yeah, yeah, you are my brother. It's because of that. <laughs> okay, go to the last one. What's the top things in Italy? Yeah, top things. Just something you yeah, yeah. cannot Who's do in Italy. Who's on pizza? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes the, I know. The, the first taboo. <laughs> first taboo is put pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Okay, how about a second one? Yeah, there is a taboo. Say that the French wine is better than the Italian wine. That's a taboo. <laughs> it cannot be, you know. doesn't exist this thing. Put ice on the wine. It's another taboo. If you do in the restaurant and you put ice inside the wine, they will look at you like, what the hell are you doing? Like in other countries, a lot of people are doing this thing, like in Argentina and in Vietnam. I saw a lot of people oh, okay. doing that. I'm, I'm doing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, you know this video I'll just upload to my oh, yeah. YouTube <laughs> channel. Got it. You should have got it. <laughs> no, I won't keep it. <laughs> okay, I need to leave it early right now. <laughs> I think it's because you be a couple with Jesse. That's why you do the same. Yeah, yeah. It's her, for, it's her father always drink wine with ice. So it's because of her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will talk to her next time when I chat with her. <laughs> oh my god. We don't have many taboos. It's a lot of taboo stuff with the kitchen because you know, here the food is one of the most important things. So yes. yeah, like put cheese on uh, fish. If you are eating fish, we don't don't have you must don't put food uh, cheese on it. What about Taiwan? Do you have any taboo? Yeah, Taiwan have the taboo. I think is you will never talking with the Taiwanese politics. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because uh, if you are different party with them, they will just against you. So for your relationship, if you just come to Taiwan, just never talk with Taiwanese the politics because. Some Taiwanese is crazy for that. If you are different party with them, they will just fuck off something like that. I think the top of things is this one. Because some people is crazy for that. Yeah, it's the same here. We have the... Oh, I cannot say. That's fine. I have another one. Like for the Taiwanese girl, I know you guys say hello or just like kiss the like face. Like this. Taiwan is more close, so the thinking is not so open like other countries. People, that's why our culture teach me teachers the female and male shouldn't be too close in our culture. It's very old fashioned, but some people is old fashioned. They just trying to speak. Maybe they don't like this Asian, but they will not tell you. So much better is don't do it. Okay. It's, yeah, it's quite hard for you guys, I know. <laughs> but it's only for the male. Female is all okay. fine. <laughs> okay. If it's okay. Jesse, Jesse can do any touch she wants. Okay. Okay. Get it. Huh. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, she can yeah. do it to the male. Male is all fine. Okay. Yeah. 
I think that's all. Um, I... You don't like uh, say hello with the kiss between so between male and female. You don't uh, arrive. Hey, how are you? And you kiss. No, you don't like, do this stuff. In Taiwan, no Taiwan just hello, ciao, like this. We don't even shake a hand or hunting or yeah. kiss some face. No, in Taiwan, no. Just ciao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like this. Even touch, no, not in Taiwan. Taiwan is an Asian country. I think it's all the same. You travel lots of Asian countries. How many countries you already been to? Oof, I don't know. In the in Asia, Indonesia, yeah. uh, many times, uh, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Myanmar, <clears throat> India, uh, Cambodia, uh, Laos, Vietnam. I don't know. Australia, Probably. Argentina. Australia is not Asia. Australia is. Oh uh, um, no! I mean, how many countries? Not only I in know, Asia. And, okay. In all the world. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Australia, uh, Asia, uh, Tunisia, Malta, Spain, Spain, uh, Germany, France, uh, Switzerland, uh, I don't know, Argentina, one day in Brazil. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> one day. okay, I think that's lots of countries. Okay, I think we're running out of time for the loop. Oh, yeah. You will Less be... than one minute. So yeah. Just one last thing I have to yeah. do a war in Mandarin. Yeah. It's called Taiwan Jiao. Taiwan Jiao. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's similar with in English. It's like something like, come on, you can do it like this. Just say to Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan Jiao. Like Perfecto. this. Ciao, bro. Ciao. 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 Un saluto a tutti da, a Taiwan. <laughs> I don't know why it's okay. Hello to every Taiwanese. Okay, but what's the meaning? Uh, goodbye, uh, Taiwanese. Hello from Italy, something like this to all oh. of Taiwanese. Okay, <laughs> ciao, bro. Uh, Thank you ciao. so much.